A big welcome to Steve's Kitchen. Today it's all about curds, particularly in this episode it's lemon curds, but we will be dealing with some other curds which we talk about a little bit later on in this episode. Lemon curd is a favorite of mine. Curds without preservatives and additives taste so good. I mean this is thick, it's lovely and tart and very simple to make. Wow. We're going to get on and make this delicious lemon curd, but we're also gonna be talking about the science behind lemon curds and what other choices we might have. So come on, let's get and make it. We'll start by putting about an inch of water into the bottom of a saucepan and place that onto a medium heat on the stove. You then want to add two thirds of a cup of super fine or caster sugar into a heat proof bowl. Now we're going to separate our egg whites and egg yolks. Now one of the best ways to separate out the egg yolks from the whites is just to catch them in your hands and the egg whites drip through. We're going to add the egg yolks in with our sugar. I'm going to beat the egg yolks and the sugar together to get a nice thick sweet cream. Now to get a really zingy lemon curd, we want to take the zest off of two lemons and we're gonna take the juice as well. It's gonna give us about 100 milliliters or about three and a half ounces of lemon juice. Now the more lemon zest you put into your curd, the more citrusy the curd is going to be. So a subscriber said to me, try a spoon rather than a fork to get the juice out. So I'm gonna give that a go. We've got, uh, I haven't got a big serving spoon with me, but I'll use a dessert spoon. And yes, the juice is coming out beautifully. Now remarkably, these lemons seem to have no pips in them at all. Now look at that beautiful lemon juice in there. The last thing we're going to put in is 60 grams or two ounces of lightly salted butter. Now we take that over to our stove and our water's just starting to simmer. And what I'm gonna do is just gently heat this over the steaming water. And this is gonna take five or 10 minutes and we're going to be looking for this sauce coating the back of our wooden spoon. Whilst the curd is heating, let's have a little talk about the science behind curd making. By heating this on a double boiler, we get more control over the temperature. And we want to raise the temperature of the curd above 60 degrees Celsius, that's 140 Fahrenheit. Firstly, this will pasteurize the eggs, which is a good thing. Next, if we want the perfect curd, we want to take it above 70 degrees Celsius, that's 160 Fahrenheit, and up to 80 degrees Celsius, that's 175 Fahrenheit. Now, I know these are a lot of figures and you don't need to actually uh, follow these exactly. I'll explain why in a moment. But if you want to get the perfect curd, nothing above 80 degrees Celsius or 175 Fahrenheit, otherwise the eggs will start to cook and they will split. But if you can get that temperature range, you'll get a lovely thick set curd. I don't want you to get too het up about the temperatures. You can usually tell as the curd starts to come up to temperature, it gets a lot thicker. You can actually look on the back of the spoon, it'll get thick enough if you run your finger through it, there'll be a little line through and it'll stay there. And that's the perfect temperature or the perfect consistency to make curd. Now think about this, we'll be talking about this again after we've set this curd. Now you do want to continue to stir gently through the curd as it's warming on the stove. Now you can actually see the curd is starting to get nice and thick now. If I put that on the back of the spoon, it's good and thick. And if I run my finger through it, it separates and doesn't join. This looks absolutely perfect and delicious. Now before we let this completely cool down, I'm going to pour the lemon curd into a sterilized jar. Now, maybe I should have measured a slightly smaller jar or made a little more lemon curd, but what I can tell you, is this will last for many months sealed in the jar here. Once you've opened it, keep it in the fridge, and this is delicious. Whether you decide to have it on sandwiches, add it over some ice cream, put it into some donuts, this is the most delicious, non-preservative, non-additive lemon curd you've ever had in your life. Now the process of making lemon curd, albeit fascinating, doesn't have to stop there with lemon curds. You'll know there are lots of other curds out there. You get the passion fruit curds, but can you curd anything? Pretty much so. Um, what I'd love to do now is have a chat with you about the concept of lemon curds and what you might come up with as an idea, maybe sort of a chocolate and mint lemon curd or a strawberry lemon curd. Actually, that's something we might try in a moment just to sort of try out this idea. But come up with some ideas, share them across with me. How would you make a lemon curd? You might want to go with a blueberry and lavender lemon curd. 
or take some flavors that you really like. Anything really can be turned into a curd and they are so, so good. It doesn't have to stop with just lemons, even though lemon curd is probably my favorite. So whilst I've got you here, quick tidy up and let's see if we can make a strawberry curd, which I think could be quite delicious. Now this smells delicious. Look how thick that strawberry curd has become. If I get it on the back of the spoon, you can see if I cut through it. Oh, it's a little bit warm. Wow, that tastes good. The strawberry curd has set up nicely and it tastes really good. It's packed full of that strawberry flavor. You could almost think of strawberry curd as a strawberry jam or jelly that's set with eggs rather than with pectin. I also decided to make a blueberry curd whilst you weren't looking. This one is absolutely delicious as well. I'd love to get some feedback from you what other curd ideas you can come up with. I thought of sort of raspberries and white chocolate. You could go with strawberries and with a little bit of mint in there to change the flavors. Lemon with elderflower, that would work really well. Comment down below and let me get some feedback. For me today, it's really been about one of my favorites, the lemon curd. This is so tart, so delicious. We add the butter in there, by the way, just to add a sort of mouthfeel of a little bit of oil in there, and it really makes it delicious. You could leave the butter out, but trust me, it makes it taste a lot better. So share with some ideas, get across on social media, send me some pictures, tell me about what you've come up with, I'd love to hear. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed this look into curds, be good, and I will see you very shortly for some more fun in Steve's Kitchen. Take care. I don't